think I chose sculpture because it occupies the same space I do. Um, three Dimensions offers you more possibilities. If there had been something else that had come along that really interested me more, I might have diverted off that path, but nothing ever has intrigued me as much as art. I remember in fourth grade at uh, Edina Highlands, that was the first time that I had been handed a piece of clay and I made this wonderful head. Spent the, almost the whole hour, you know, with a little toothpick and it was a tiny thing. And I had a few extra minutes and friends handed me some clay and I made an elephant and they turned that in for extra credit. And the next day all the projects were on the table, graded, and the head got a C and the elephant got an A. And that really started me on a path of thinking about aesthetics, uh, what makes one thing more beautiful than another, um, issues like that. So I kind of kept pursuing that. Leaping Hair was accepted into the uh, Edina's public art program, in which they, every year, put out a call and artists submit works, and if your work is selected, then you get a location and a pedestal and you put your work out there for a year. Obviously, people resonate to it for a reason, I think because it is so approachable. The Hair was a, a, a commission piece. Uh, a couple that I had known for quite a few years approached me and they had a home in Dripping Springs, which is just outside of Austin. We wanted a real active piece, something that was just bursting out there. It's uh, a nice bronze, pretty good sized uh, hair with huge ears. It was based uh, on a Texas hair, which is why it was so much larger. So they have the first copy and this is the second one offering these uh, opportunities for people to see different art and rotating programs like that uh, is, I think is a wonderful thing for the city because really when you come into a city, how do you really get to know it? And if you walk into somebody's house, you look around and you kind of look at their artwork, don't you? So you, you get an idea of people's tastes and I think a public show like this does the same thing. It, it allows people to look at the community and say, hey, they value art and they're reflecting as part of their community.